Is it possible that the universe is a giant brain and our galaxy is just a tiny neuron in it? The universe contains about 200 billion galaxies. These galaxies are not uniformly distributed in the universe. They become clusters under the force of gravity and clusters from superclusters. Between these clusters, galaxies lie along thin, luminous strings of gas called galactic strings that can be hundreds of millions of light years long. Clusters and strings of galaxies are surrounded by space that contains a very little matter. Overall, the cosmic web is the somewhat similar to the human brain. In fact, the distribution of matter in the world is a bit like the connecton, or the map of the neural connections of the human brain. Because neurons or nerve cells in the human brain also form clusters and are connected by axons which are long nerve fibers, and send impulses or electric shocks from one neuron to another. The similarity between the human brain and the world is not at all superficial and imaginary. So that during a study conducted by Franco Vaza, an Italian astrophysicist, and Alberto Felti, a fellow neuroscientist, in 2020, a remarkable similarity of several structures of different sizes in the connectome of the human brain and in the cosmic network was reported. Based on the results of this study, samples of the brain at scales less than about 1 mm and the distribution of matter in the universe at dimensions up to about 300 million light years are structurally similar to each other. The fact that the universe is structurally similar to the human brain raises the question of whether it has similar thinking capacities. However, the world differs from the human brain in several ways, especially because it expands and its expansion is constantly increasing. If galaxy clusters were the neurons of the universe, they should have separated from each other at an increasing rate. Another important difference between them is that it takes a long time for signals to travel through space. Neurons in the human brain send about 5 to 50 signals per second, 80% of which are sent over short distances about 1 mm, and 20% of which are sent over longer distances to connect different parts of the brain. We can think with the help of both types of these signals. Signals in the human brain travel at a speed of about 100 meters per second, which is a million times less than the speed of light. But the brain is small and signals reach their destination in the fraction of a second. In contrast, the universe is currently about 90 billion light years in diameter. This means that if a signal were sent from one hypothetical side of the universe, assuming it had the ability to think to the other side at the speed of light, it would take 90 billion years to reach its destination. Even sending a signal to the galaxy cluster M81, the closest putative neuron to us, would take at least 11 million years. This means that, optimistically, the universe may have managed about 1,000 exchanges between its closest neurons since the Big Bang. Our brain does this amount of signal exchange in 3 minutes, but the capacity of the universe to communicate with its various parts is continuously decreasing with its continuous expansion. This means that, if the world can think, it cannot think too much. For most physicists, that's at the end of the story, but some hypothesize that the universe might not be as big as it seems. Based on this hypothesis, two places that we think are very far apart on opposite ends of the world may be very close to each other, because the world can appear big based on the illusion caused by the weakness of our perception. They give at least two reasons to strengthen this hypothesis. First, quantum effects can create non-local interwoven connections between particles. Second, the existence of the wormhole is mentioned in Einstein's theory of relativity. A wormhole is actually a theory of passage through space-time that can provide a short cut bridge for long journeys across the universe.
but giant wormholes can exist in our universe because they close instantly. But no one really knows what happens to wormholes in the quantum realm. But to understand this, we need a theory about the quantum properties of space, which has not been presented so far. If these speculations are correct, the universe may be full of tiny portals connecting seemingly distant places. Physicists such as Fotini Markopolo and Lee Smolin have estimated that our universe could contain 10,360 such non-local connections. For comparison, the human brain has 1,150 connections. Of course, as mentioned, there is still no evidence for the existence of non-local connections in the universe. Also, if there are such connections, it still does not necessarily mean that what the world thinks is certain. But at the same time, it is still not possible to definitely reject this possibility. And the idea that the universe is intelligent will continue to be discussed.